episode of Sports Science. We're kicking butt and cracking bones. Because we're on the hunt for the hardest hits in sports. For the first time ever, we break down the awesome power of a rampage knockout. We put all pro NFL linebacker Joey Porter to the ultimate crash test. And we'll go inside Major League All-Star Johnny Damon's brain-rattling collision. You've never seen impact like this before. No pain, no thanks. Brace yourself. It's time for Sports Science. Hardest Hits. In this former airplane hangar, we created a one-of-a-kind laboratory. A high-tech facility with one purpose. Oh. To analyze the best athletes in the world. The cutting edge of science. The limits of human performance. The science and work in the games we play. This is where sports and science collide. This is Sports Science. When it comes to picking the hardest hits, you have to lay down the law. Newton's law. Sir Isaac's second law says that force equals mass times acceleration, which is a mathy way of saying that when it comes to a hit, size and speed both matter. The question is, would you rather be hit by a big thing moving slowly or a little thing moving quickly? We'll start with a big thing moving slowly. Enter Sumo. These guys are American sumo wrestlers. Their combined weight, almost 700 pounds of pure mass. Yep, that's big. They started only 28 inches apart. Not a whole lot of space to get your mass moving. Dr. Cindy Burr of Wayne State University heads up our science team, which will tackle this massive question. So in our efforts to try to measure how much force a sumo wrestler actually imparts upon impact, we actually put an accelerometer on their waist. They're not moving fast, but the mass is enormous. Coming together at just over one and a half miles per hour, this 700 pound collision generates 1,000 pounds of force. That's like having an entire pyramid of cheerleaders jump on your chest. Trust us, it's not as fun as it sounds. Okay, big things moving slowly, got it. Now let's reverse the variables in the equation. What happens when the mass is small, but the acceleration is really fast? Pay attention. The answer is about to smack you right in the face. <laughs> this is Quentin Rampage Jackson, world champion light heavyweight MMA fighter. He may not have the size of a sumo wrestler, but what he lacks in mass, his fist makes up in acceleration. Nobody on this planet punched harder than me. Rampage Jackson, up, thank buddy? you so much for coming in. Yeah. So what we're going to do is have you hit an instrumented heavy bag that sensors inside, and we're going to find out exactly how hard you punch. 
How do you punch so hard? Me? You. How, how I punch so hard? Yeah. Put my ass in. What I'm doing is getting my ass behind it, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm bringing everything with all my weight. I just lunge it. <laughs> Excuse me for flinching. It's OK, babe. Rampage cocks his fist back and goes, I'm going to flinch every time. <laughs> you just seen his eyes. <laughs> Our heavy bag, used by the USA boxing team, is outfitted with special pressure sensors that will allow us, for the first time ever, to measure the power of Rampage's punch. How will the mass of Rampage's flying fist stack up to the classic art of sumo? You ready? Oh! impact is staggering. Nate, what were we seeing on that? Can you, can you feel him staring at you? I can. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, there's definitely um, some data there. Our cutting edge motion capture technology from Vicon House of Moves takes us inside this punishing punch. There's a reason why Rampage Jackson wins over half his fights by knockout. A punch isn't about mass. The fist weighs little more than the brain itself, but he generates massive velocity. Enough to deliver 1,800 pounds of force and cause his opponent's brain to recoil back and forth in the skull. Kind of like having a teenage hippo sit on your head. Once again, not as fun as it sounds. But the fist is really the end of the story. Rampage's power starts in the ground. It's called kinetic linking. The energy starts in his feet, drives up through his legs, hips, and into the massive ripped muscles of his torso, core, and gluteus maximus. An energy chain about to explode through his fist. The biggest link in the chain, the biggest muscle. That's right, the gluteus maximus. Or put another way, put my ass in. Now that's a man who knows his science. Bottom line, the power that surges through Rampage's gluteus maximus and into his fist is almost double the sumo's impressive impact. Simply put, the small objects moving fast knock the crap out of the big objects moving slowly. Round one in our quest for the hardest hit goes to Rampage Jackson. Oh. Coming up on Sports Science, NFL greats Quentin Jammer and Joey Porter smash our state-of-the-art crash test dummy. Think this hurts? Try it without the pads. We'll tackle head trauma head-on as we go inside Johnny Damon's terrifying collision. Sports Science, hardest hits, will be right back. <laughs> 